All right, hey guys, so welcome back to the channel. Finally, it's release day of 2021-22, Upper Deck Series 1, Hobby Boxes, of course. Got a couple of these. These are $150 plus tax at the uh, local card stores in my area. So seems to be about the same price as last year. Finally excited to uh, break something. I know OPG was last week, but I haven't really been interested in that. And the last thing before that would be, uh, I think, Tim Hortons Team Canada. And if we take a look at the odds here, uh, basically it's a, kind of your standard format. You got the Young Guns, of course, which is what we're chasing. Caulfield and Zegris are the best ones. Jamie Drysdale, Jeremy Swayman. So there's some pretty good ones. And of course you can get your French, your clear cut exclusives, high gloss, all that stuff. I'm a big canvas collector, so I'll be going after those. And there's a couple new sets, uh, including Electromagnetic, Honor Roll, and Hundo P. So those are just kind of inserts. You got your Dazzlers, you got your portraits. And then you got all your rarer cards, like uh, the clear cut cards and all those kind of things. Day with the cup. But anyways, let's get into this. I'm real excited to open up a hobby box. Also, the plastic is kind of very loose and like the box isn't even really closed. But anyways, so loose I can just easily tear it away. Got some young guns in the background as well of the last couple of years. Um, some bigger names to kind of hopefully give us some mojo. And there's uh, our seal. There's our glorious packs. We will take them out. Again, Young Guns fall one and four, so we're looking at six of those per hobby box. That's exactly what I'm after. I want to get the whole set. I want to get the whole canvas set. That's kind of what I do every year. Young Guns are definitely what I collect, and they're a little bit more affordable, or scratch that, a lot more affordable than the future watches. But anyways, let's get into this. Haven't seen this at all yet. So I'm very excited to see what this is all about. All right, so there's our base card. We'll put that down for a sec. Um, get a good look at the base card there. Kind of a interesting design. Looks very formal. I'm, I'm indifferent on that. I don't mind it. It's not horrible. Um, so we got Justin Schultz, John Gibson, Jakob Silverberg, Joel Farabee. And here's our first canvas card. So this is a canvas insert. A couple of these per box too, I think like three or four. These look very nice. Again, that, that kind of canvas print seems to be less and less every year. It's more and more of a kind of a hockey card, but I do like the design of those. So I'll be excited to collect that full set. Then we got Joel Edmondson, Evgeny Kuznetsov and PLD. Not sure how many boxes I'm gonna do. I'm kind of weighing how many to open versus how many to get, uh, how many cards to kind of buy individually. For the young guns. Anyways, we've got Sidney Crosby, Carter Hart, Andre Vasilevsky, and there's our Dazzler, first Dazzler of the box. Looks very nice. They they started off really good last year. It's a cool set for people to collect. And then now they look fantastic. So definitely like those cards. Matt Tuchuk, Connor McDavid, Dennis Gurionov, Gabriel Landeskog, and this is one of the newer inserts. This is a new this year, the Electromagnetic of Nico Heischer. So kind of like a bunch of different colorways of him. Then we got Adam Bulkvist, Shea Theodore, and Elvis Merzlikens. So I do love the design of this. I gotta say, the, the inserts look absolutely fantastic so far. All right, next up we got Jordan Stahl, Chandler Stevenson, Seth Jones, and our first young guns would be Alex Barre-Boulet for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So. These, I mean, they do look pretty good, to be honest. It's a total change-up, kind of, from what we were used to. Kind of kind of throws it back, maybe a bit, to 15-16 with that cursive font. And the corners look sharp. Quality control seems to be solid, so that's our first young gun. Then we got Jack Hughes, Jack Eichel, Matthias Ekholm. I don't know why that's uh, facing a different way, but it seems to be the same. And Jakob Chikorin. So first young gun is Barry Boulet. Obviously we're hoping for uh, Zegris and Caulfield. So I don't have to buy them basically, <laughs> but all right. There's Jack Campbell, Jakob Voracek, Brendan Gallagher, Ethan Bear. Oh my God. There it is guys. Cole Caulfield in the s right away. Second young gun. That's a beautiful card. Great start there. Uh, Darnell Nurse, Anton Hudobin and Kale McCarr. So there we go. Cole Caulfield. Wow, this was selling, I checked last night, this was selling for like between $200 to $300. I mean, it's really early, the price should fall. But glad to have his card in the bag, freshly pulled. 
looks to be in great shape. Tiny little bit on the edge there, but whatever. There we go, guys. Cole Caulfield Young Guns. Awesome. There it is. Beautiful. Not sure if he goes with Barry Boulet, if they still do those, those uh, kind of like putting the certain players together. But anyways, awesome start. All right, we got Johnny Hockey, Philip Zadina, Thatcher Demko. This is one of the newer inserts as well. Or I think it's brand new. Uh, superstar. Oh, honor roll. Honor roll there. Uh, the rest of the pack here is all base. Hope I'm not missing anything. But yeah, that's awesome. So through our first stack, first quarter of the box, and we got the Cole Caulfield. So that's awesome. Very happy with that. He has been uh, tearing it up recently. Should be a good player for years to come. A little bit of a scare early on this year as he wasn't doing so well. All right, there's another UD canvas of Dustin Brown. Absolutely love these UD canvases. They look awesome. And more base. So that's really exciting. I'm very happy to have that Cole Caulfield. Very, very pleased with that. Next up. And there's another young gun of Dakota Joshua. So I have no clue who this guy is. <laughs> I know I did take a look at the checklist and most of them were, most of them were names I'm somewhat familiar with. Cool checklist here, by the way, of Hughes and Lafreniere. Yeah, most of them I was familiar with, um, but there are some names I don't know. I follow the NHL pretty closely, so um, maybe, maybe it's just me, but. All right, next up, something cool in here. We have Rasmus Dahlin, Victor Arvidsson, Michael Bunting, still on the uh, Arizona Coyotes. Kind of sad. And there's another new insert, Hundo P of Adam Fox. This is kind of weird. Hundo P, kind of like a slang saying. We're really strange there. And then another Adam Fox, Vlad Tarasenko, Dodonov, and Miller. Moving along, it looks like we do have a pink Dazzler. I don't know if there's still case hits or not. I'll post that up on screen. I know they used to be pretty rare. I think there were case hit last year, and it's Jack Hughes. So nice, uh, nice card there. He's tearing it up right now. He had huge expectations on him, obviously with the number one pick. Hadn't played too well in the first two years, but this year he's really turning it on, showing that he's worth it. All right, so next up here, we've got another electromagnetic, this time Sebastian Ajo. Cool insert there. Yeah, I gotta say that the, the more I look at these designs, the more they're growing on me. They look great. From the base cards to the young guns to the inserts, I think Upper Deck just did a fantastic job. I mean, they had enough time to do so, but um, there's the UD portraits. This one, eh, I mean, these are kind of just a throw-in set, you know. I don't know who actually collects those unless you're going for a master set. But anyways, there's a UD Portraits of Vasilevsky. Moving on. Looks to be another Young Guns. And this one is Jack Akan on the Boston Bruins. So, I've never heard of him as well. That card had a lot of... A lot of cards in it or that pack had a lot of cards in it anyways looks like we're past the halfway mark now i think that's four young guns but of course it doesn't really matter we got the one we're looking for and i doubt they're going to stick hole with uh, some other kind of non non good names oh and this is an interesting card here uh we got a rookie retrospective of alexi lafreniere so obviously you can see his points and goals Ranked 7th and 13th. He wasn't wasn't the best player he could have been last year. And this year he's also slumping a little. So interesting to see what happens to him. But that's just an insert. Moving along. Oh, there we got a UD game jersey of Nino Niederreiter. Again, I love the design of these with the kind of puck there. Decent sized swatch. And uh, wow, nice. UD game jersey of Nino Niederreiter. Not the best player at all, unfortunately. So not worth very much, but I'll take it. This box is shaping up to be good, but of course they're always fun. Gotta love this stuff. Next up. And we have a debut dates of Peyton Krebs. This is another one they brought back. I think it just shows their, yeah, shows their debut. Which is kind of cool, especially if you collect those kind of players.
All right, and now we'll move on to the next pack. Looks to be a canvas. Nope, it's a UD Portraits of Jack Hughes. Jack Hughes Hotbox, Sergey Bob as well. But yeah, this stuff's always fun. I don't think there's any base packs anymore, at least in hobby. Moving on here, it looks like we've got something and it's going to be a Young Guns canvas of David Ference. So there's a couple uh, interesting, like the canvas is always interesting. By the way, awesome design, look at that card. Looks beautiful. The canvas is always interesting because they do have like a mix of them. Like I know there's like Byfield and um, you know, they, they some of the series two young guns will have a series one canvas young gun and vice versa. So interesting stuff there. But uh, anyways, another one of these honor rolls of Victor Hedman. I think that doesn't count towards our young gun, so we should still be looking for two more. Something red in here, and it's going to be a rookie retrospective of Igor Sharangovich. Last couple of packs. And there we go, it looks like a French version there. You can see it here, very en français. And of course it will say on the back as well. So that's uh, OEL, nothing crazy there. Not really a big fan of those, to be honest. Kind of like a gimmicky insert, I don't know. But I'm sure the people in Quebec might like those. All right, moving along. And it looks like we've got another Young Guns. This time it's Jacob Bryson. Another one I haven't really heard of. He did get 38 games last year though, so that's interesting. Nice Willie Nylander. So he's actually not a rookie though, this year, because he played so much last year. But I don't know if he's still playing or not. So that should leave one Young Gun for these final two packs. It's been a great break so far. I've had a lot of fun. And it is going to be Redeem Zahorna. My bad guys, been butchering this video, but uh, last pack just had a filled in LUD canvas. For some reason it wasn't filming, but that's the end of the break. All right guys, so here's a recap of my first box of 2021-22 series one. So all in all, definitely gotta say it was a success. Uh, nothing too crazy aside from the Caulfield. Obviously that makes a box. Rest of the Young Guns were meh. Did get a nice pink Dazzlers of Hughes. We got a Young Guns canvas of David Ferentz. We got a UD game jersey, and we got a lot of other inserts in our stack of base. So that's my first box, guys. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.